Demand more. Get All Max. Hey everybody, Steve Kukolo, IBB Pro here with All Max Nutrition. We're gonna be knocking out a great back workout today, show you what I'm doing in my off season to get size and detail into my back as I transition into pre-contest training. You'll see weight, weight's uh, 160, it goes up to 200 a max on this. Again, this is one, I mean, we can do 200 pounds, but if we feel more of the movement at 100 pounds, I'd rather do 100 pounds over 200 just because of, you know, again, how the style of my back training has changed into more of a contraction, a squeeze uh, type movements. But, um, you know, and having a good training partner like Dan, he critiques little things, may see if I go up a little more upright in the movement, I'll get more contraction of my lat. So, um, you know, I could sometimes notice with him, if he's pulling too much with a shoulder or bicep, I say, you know, try to pull a little bit and change your hand position or pull from a different angle. Just little things like that make a big difference. So we're gonna um, go on to our next movement here. The rows, um, traditionally, you see guys going a little bit higher. This is more a real bent over row where it's almost parallel with the ground and uh, a lot harder. <clears throat> so we get a little bit elevated so we get a little bit more depth. So we're really trying to focus on our mid, back, and our lat, which is primarily doing a lot of the pulling. You see a lot of guys do real high, high angle, and just kind of more doing a bent over, bent over shrug versus, uh, you know, bent over row. It's probably the only movement we don't really focus on arching our back, but more keeping our back straight, maybe a little rounded. Um, and we come up to where our pretty much umbilical would be, our mid stomach, when we do the pull, uh, try to hit hit our stomach and then come down. That's pretty much the range. Um, it's a lot harder movement keeping this angle versus coming up. So that's why the weight's not huge, but it's a good way. So, and you know, if you go much heavier, you're just, you know, you're risking injury in your lower back because there is more stress in your lower back this way too. Do that. We're gonna go to a, a deadlift okay, with the trap bar. After, uh, sometimes we start with it, sometimes we finish with it, sometimes we do it in the middle of the workout, which in this case we're doing the middle of the workout. Top of the movement is to take it just, instead of just lifting the weight to where we feel it in the mid and upper back, we like to kind of squeeze back a little bit so we're uh, kind of uh, firing our lats a little bit and a little bit more of the squeeze into the back movement rather than just a trap. So it's just a way to, to get a little bit more out of the movement versus just moving weight. Again, with us, it's mind-muscle connection with this in, in order to get the most out of what we're doing. Here we're doing a little variation to the typical straight set. We're doing one and a half, which is a full movement, full contraction, halfway, um, the relax, and then back again. So it's one and a half reps is, we just count as one, which it's a lot harder because you're, you're stopping it and where the movement you really want to go all the way forward. So it's kind of just changing up tension a little bit and some range of motion and a little more volume into it. Uh, 
So we like doing this high row um, to target the lat primarily. The main reason we, we do a little bit variation, you'll see as we did most of our back workouts, everything had a little bit of variation to the classical or traditional way of doing it. Uh, that's because we found that we feel it more if we change the angle a little bit or just our hand grip. And in this position, we're going to a higher position on this machine, which doesn't, it doesn't really have a grip, but we feel the, more of a stretch in the lat and it's, it allows us to come lower into the movement, which in, in essence will uh, fire the lat muscle more and we feel more contraction in the lat. That um, is the main focus of this. We did a lot of mid-back, a lot of upper back and lat uh, movements, but this is kind of a finisher we like to do. It's not a real heavy movement. It's something that we feel and uh, you know really just targets the lats. We like to finish that set with a five to 10 second hold, uh, more of a control negative. And again, just to kind of a burnout, a little more volume, a little more tension to try to just get the lat completely exhausted. This machine right here is another row machine that we again changed just a little bit in order to uh, target our mid and upper back. We come with a little bit of uh, underhand grip and it's only it's, it's a, a partial range we're doing we're not coming all the way back and squeezing but we're using kind of pulling with our elbows and almost making it a shrug using a row machine to almost do a shrug so it's it's targeting your, your mid and upper back that's a wrap that's a wrap for back we uh we did about five six exercises Biggest thing uh, you'll see in our back workout, you know, we, we preach on and we're all about form, all about feeling and controlling the weight, not all about moving weight, which I've done for years. And I feel that my improvements have been uh, dramatically increased as I've lightened the weight, worked on my form, worked on the squeeze, and get the movement down right versus just moving weight. So. Give it a try, you might see some changes. It's gonna be a little bit of ego check. It'll be a little bit of change uh, of pace, but it's gonna be for the better. Give it a shot.